What's up YouTube? It's Coach Cory and today we're gonna go over the new Robo Rumble map Steel Junction. They redid all the walls and they redid actually I don't think they changed how the robots act. They just changed the walls. They said they made it quote impossible to funnel the robots. And that's true, and I'm really disappointed in how they did that. They, all they did that is by changing the walls, so robots literally go in three separate lanes. It's not a feature change, it's just a map change. I'm honestly pretty disappointed. I think it could have been done a lot better. I really don't like the new map, honestly. Um, but it is a lot harder, which is fine. I don't have a problem with it being harder. I would have liked it more if they made the robots just a lot harder. Like a lot more health, or faster, whatever and still allowed funneling. I really don't like this new map. I think they messed up on the left side of it, especially. But I'm gonna go over some of the best strategies for this map. Um, I have a couple ones. And actually, I wasn't able to get max coins. The most I could get was 38. So this map is definitely really hard. It gets really hard fast after the last boss. And I'm going to give you guys the best strategies to at least get consistently 36 or 38 coins at the least. And I'll give you the best two. And then I'll give another one that's a little bit more interesting but not, I think, as consistent. And you guys can tell me which one you have the most success with. So, let's start out. So, i got a map up for you guys. I'm going to try and draw up some positions on where each brawler should be going. So, the first strategy is double thrower and ricochet. You can do colt instead of ricochet. Um, you don't especially need any other star powers. Barley's star power and ricochets are probably the most useful. Dynamite doesn't really need his at all. Um, but those that's what we were doing. And what we did is we had everyone go down the middle lane. And then throwers are going to be throwing down left and right. And then the ricochet or colt is going to be focusing on the middle. And they're going to be taking care of most of the brawlers in the middle. Especially the ranged ones. As it's hard for the throwers to get those. Unless they're continuously backing up. They're not going to get a lot of hits on them. And you're pretty much just going to have each thrower focused on one side. And then if there's more robots on the other side. Then the throwers can just switch. And both of them can hit both sides. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. There's not a big catch to it now for the boss um, You do have to try and save your supers for the boss Especially the last one, but it can be it can get sort of hard around four minutes So the one tip I would give is the dynamite super is the least valuable So for him he should start trying to spam his super but the barley super and the ricochet super those would be the ones that deal a lot of damage um, the boss is kind of random. You have to get a little bit lucky with his spawn. Probably the worst spawn is either the left side, I think, or the middle. Um, the right side is probably the easiest. It's just easier for throwers to do a lot of damage. And the middle is kind of hard because it's really hard to kite him. Um, you just got to do what you can. And there's not a lot of big tips I can give except try and disrupt his uh, attacks with the dynamite super. That can be a good way to stop it. Try and um, get him to engage in his uh, main rocket attack and then step away from it like around a corner. That way he's stuck there. Because the one thing with this map is it's really hard to kite the boss. Like on other maps, you could, you know, kite the boss in a circle or something and just keep attacking him and it wouldn't be a big deal and he wouldn't hit you that much. But on this one, you really can't and you can get really close to the save. So you have to try and engage him and let him start attacking and then not get hit too much by his attacks. So the thing with his rockets, they always have a set pattern. So if you get hit once, just dodge again and then go back to that same area and you're not going to be hit again for the most part. At least you shouldn't. Um, you can sort of learn his pattern, but that's pretty much it, and there's not a lot you can do except just try and help each other out, try and get value supers, and that's going to be the gist of it. Right, so let's go over the second strategy. So the second strategy, this is the most familiar one with you guys. For the most part, it's going to be Colt and Ricochet, and then it's Dynamite instead of Barley. Um, the most common old strategy was Colt, Ricochet, and Barley, but now it's going to be more Colt, Ricochet, and Dynamite. You need Dynamite because Dynamite does more damage for the most part. Barley Super is great. It does a lot of damage, but he's not going to have it that often, especially later on. It's very hard to get robots to group up. You sort of have to get lucky with the spawns um, because for the most part, you're going to have just different robots going down different lanes, fast ones, slow ones, range ones. They're just going to be at totally different points. So Barley's not going to get many value supers. So he used to be really, really good in Robo Rumble. Now he's not that great. You can sort of switch Barley out on a lot of these comps. Um, he's still really good at killing the boss because he can do a lot of damage point blank really fast. But Dynamite is going to be the next best thing because he can easily cover both sides of the map. So with Colt, 
um, Dynamite, Ricochet. You're going to have Ricochet on the right, and he's going to be shooting on the right side and helping out middle as well for any fast guys going at the Dynamite. Dynamite's going to be in the middle, helping out both sides when he can, and then Colt is going to be on the left. Now, the problem with the strategy is later on, once Colt is no longer able to be up far enough on the left side where he can start engaging them sooner, the ranged robots become really, really hard to kill for Colt, and they really messed up on the left side of the map. Honestly, the ranged robots can get in a really awkward spot, and they can be shooting the safe and be really, really hard to hit unless you're a thrower. Um, and it just makes it really awkward angle. You don't have many areas to run because there's that freaking big block wall on the left side. Uh, there's not a lot you can do. So you're going to have to try and cult. You have to try and stay on the left side as high up as possible as long as you can. And just try and survive and deal as much damage as you can. And you're really not going to be able to help anyone out as a cult. You really don't have the time to run back middle and help out. So you still have to trust your teammates and hope they're going to do well enough to stay alive and kill those robots now i mean later on as it gets to be like five minutes you're probably going to have to abandon that left side and start helping out your teammates eventually because you're going to have times where there's just no robots on your side and they're all middle or left and your teammates get a little bit overwhelmed and that's when colt has to help out and then you're going to have the just robots coming in way too fast um on the left side and then they're basically right on the safe full health and it's horrible i hate it it's really annoying but that's just all you can do i mean you can if you save your supers um and you use them well you can pretty easily get 36 coins um and you can get to 38 you definitely need a team if you're going with randoms i would really recommend using colts or ricochet or dynamite those are the three i would recommend colt ricochet or dynamite i don't know guys I don't know what would you have. I guess let me know what your strategies are for this map. Honestly, I'm not having, I'm pretty frustrated with it, but uh, it is what it is. The other strategy I had that worked well, got 38 coins as well, is Ricochet, Jesse, and Dynamite. That was not bad. You have Jesse place her turret by the safe, and she can chain shots off it a little bit, but oftentimes, actually, um, her turret isn't able to be useful that often. Now, it's good there because the range robots aren't shooting it. If you have the range robots shooting your turret, it's just going to die really, really fast. Um, it's sort of like a last resort. It's okay versus bosses. For some reason, the boss tends to not ever go for the turret. They only go for people. So keep that in mind for the most part, unless the turret's like right on top of it. Um, otherwise, I mean, you're basically, it's similar as well. You're just going to have the culture ricochet left, and then you're going to have the dynamite and Jesse taking care of right and middle. And Dynamite's going to be middle, and Jesse's going to also be middle with the turret helping out right as well some. And that's going to be the gist of it for that strategy. That's my third best strategy. I would really not recommend using any tanks. Tanks are going to be really horrible. Um, you can be okay. They can kite. They can survive for a while, but they're not going to deal much damage. They're going to die quickly if they try to, for the most part. Um, those are going to be the main brawlers. Shelly's okay. I wouldn't use Spike, Reload's too slow, not going to get his super back very often. He really needs a really high value super, it doesn't ever happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Like, what are you guys having success with? This is pretty much my best strategy. You can pretty consistently get 38 coins on it, and I'm just going to show some replays of us doing that. But that's it for the most part, guys. I don't know. I'm sorry I don't have a better strategy video for you all. I'm really disappointed. I spent like two hours just trying this, and I... I don't know. This map just is bad. I really don't like this map. That's it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have many other tips. I mean, just general Royal Rumble stuff. You know, boss every seven waves. There's three bosses at wave 7, 14, and 21. So trying to remember the boss waves. I'd also say whenever there's a boss, bleh, whenever there's a boss wave, because you don't know which lane is going to spawn down, if you have guys in different lanes, try and have them come back closer towards the safe that way, if it's not in their lane, they're not totally screwed and going to take forever to get to the boss. Um, otherwise, you know, it's going to be every two waves, you're going to get an additional robot. So it's going to start out, um, it's going to reset after a boss wave and it's going to go back to two robots. And then after two waves, it'll go to three. And then after another two waves, it goes to four, etc. until there's a boss wave and then it resets. After the last boss, it doesn't reset. Otherwise, there's a wave is every 13 seconds. And then a boss wave lasts 25 seconds. Yeah, I mean, those are going to be the main tips for you guys. I mean, just try and save your supers for the boss. And I don't know, I guess I'll just leave up some of the rest of my Robo Rumble gameplay for you guys. Try and get some tips from that. Um, yeah, 
Good luck today. Good luck tomorrow. Let me know if you guys get an awesome strategy that goes over seven minutes consistently. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though for today's video guys. Sorry I couldn't help you out more. Hopefully the next Robo Rumble map is a little bit better than this one. Yeah. Alright, that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.